All right, Hubie, uh, season has come to an end for the Crunch, obviously a little sooner than you expected, but all in all, a great year for the Crunch. When you look back at this season, how would you uh, describe what this team went through this year? Uh, I think we had a, a good season. Like uh, We had a tough uh, first month, but uh, we built on that, and then uh, we finished strong, but we didn't go that far in playoff. We, I thought we had the team to go uh, for a big run, but didn't happen. But uh, I think I'm really proud of this team, and uh, I'm really happy to be part of, of that team. Yeah, it was a great year, like you said, 102 points for this team. So much to be proud of. Of, of all the things that this team went through and, and was successful with, what maybe are you most proud of, of what this team was able to accomplish this year? Uh, I think we had a young group of guys, so with a good group of veterans. So I, uh, I'm really proud of like the kids and like, the veteran and all the and the team staff, like what we did this year. But uh, like I said, it's a little bit sad, like we lost in first round. But uh, just need to be better next year and uh, we know what what we have to do and not to do like the the mistake we we did uh, this year. And you mentioned how young this team was. Also, a very tight team on and off the ice. A, a great group, and, and sure, that makes it a little bit more challenging losing as early as the Crunch did this year. But uh, talk about how tight this team was and, and how close this team was. Yeah, we had a like we were young, so like it's way easier like to have like a tight group of guys. Like sometimes when you have like a lot of veterans and stuff, it's different. Like with family and stuff. But uh, like you said, we had a tight group of guys and. That's why we, we play good hockey, and that makes a big difference uh, on the ice when uh, the group is, uh, is that tight. So that's why we had a good year. And like I said, like, I thought that that group could make a big run, but it didn't happen. But uh, that's hockey, you know? So uh, that's it. Yeah, we know the playoffs are a totally different animal. And, and with how young this team was, a lot of guys going through the playoffs for the first time. Uh, having that experience now, how do you think this will, that'll help, and especially the young guys moving forward? Yeah, for sure. Like the, the rookie year, it's over. Make sure they're vet, like, not veteran, but yeah, veteran in the league. So it's way different. They know what, what they're gonna, what's going to happen. Like, it's not like. They know the league now. They know what we need to do to to win some games. So it's going to be way different. You're one of the workhorses for this team on the blue line. How would you characterize your season here, your first year with the Crunch? I think I had a good season. I had a tough start. So what happened uh, last summer in my f family, but but after that, I think I had a good year, in December until the end, and I wanted to to have like a big run in playoff. But it's all right. I think I'm proud of myself. I have to be proud. It's not easy to play in this league and the second best league in the, in the world. So, And then playing in, in Syracuse for the first time in front of these fans and in this city, what was, uh, what was that like? It was really nice to play for the fans of Syracuse. I used to play against them. I hate playing here. So it was really fun like, to, to hear the crowd. Like, they're so loud and they're the best fan in the league.